Hello! Um, I just wanted to make a little short video um, thanking people for all their positive responses that I've gotten so far. I'm, I've been really shocked and amazed, you know, how inviting everyone's been. Because, um, you know, uh, here in America, don't get me wrong, I'm very patriotic. Um, I'm actually Republican. <laughs> I don't want any hateful comments about that because I do not agree with everything the Republicans do and say. But, uh, it, I, I've been really amazed because you get this feeling sometimes that Islam and Muslims are this very exclusive group of people and, uh, that you have to, uh, be a certain thing or, or say something or do a certain amount of things before you know, they'll really accept you or uh, get into all that. And uh, I've been really amazed because it's been quite the opposite. Um, I uh, went to speak to the only Muslim I know in real life, and uh, who was actually my former boss, and she said, uh, I told her, you know, what I was thinking and what I was doing with my life right now and the first thing she said in response was you know it's really not what everybody portrays it to be and I just I've been really <laughs> amazed I can't get over it how right she's been and uh, I mean it's just mind boggling you know I'm just so in awe right now uh, sorry about the dinging on my computer. Can't turn it off right now, um, but you'll you might hear it a couple more times. Um, anyway, where was I? Oh, and uh, so we kind of got into a little bit of talks about you know all the different sects. Sex. It's a bad word to try and say, <laughs> especially for me since I slur my words. Um. Anyway, she was tell me that just like Christianity, there's different sects of Islam and the difference between the main two. And I was kind of shocked to hear that Shia is actually the more liberal of the two main ones. And uh, She was telling me about how, you know, she wears a job every day. Uh, she she doesn't, you know, she wears it re <laughs> religiously. That's kind of funny to say. Um, but uh, she, she shows her uh, forearms. She doesn't mind showing her forearms. Uh, I've never seen her in anything but pants, so I don't know if she shows her lower legs or not. I don't think so. But, you know, she was talking about how they, the uh, sect here where I am, you know, they're very liberal and they're very open and they, they listen to a lot. <laughs> and they're very open with a lot of things. Uh, she's actually, we, I, we got on the subject of tattoos because, as you can see, I'm kind of a tattooaholic. <laughs> and she said, oh yeah, you know, uh, this sect doesn't mind them, you know. I'm actually getting one right here of uh, the main guy I really like. She said his name, but I'm never going to learn his name. I'm going to have so much trouble with all the names. I think that's going to be one of the hardest things for me to get used to as long different names and pronunciations. Uh, but anyway, another thing that happened the other day, which the same day that I made my my last video about question, the questions, uh, I was at Walmart, and it was actually the first day I'd worn hijab outside in public, and uh, I was walking out to my car, and I hear this woman go, ha, really loud, and I kind of looked over at her, and she's pointing at something. And I couldn't tell if she was pointing at me or pointing at some car. She goes, what is that? What is that? And I saw she had a little girl with her, about probably three or four. And the little girl, just her face just lights up. And she goes, a Muslim, a Muslim. And she runs over to me. And she gives me the biggest hug that I've ever had from a little kid. I mean... Seriously, I thought she was going to knock me over, and I was really startled, and, uh, you know, I explained, you know, I'm not a Muslim yet, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm a Muslim in training, I guess, <laughs> um, anyway, that really surprised me, my first day out in hijab to get that kind of response, but, 
that was the only really positive one I got all day. Every every other interaction was pretty much neutral or, you know, don't look at her, she might think we're being racist or whatever. Uh, which, yes, Islam is not a race, it's a religion. But uh, they, it's amazing how many people avoid your eyesight. Because, you know, normally I talk to people. When I talk to people, I look in their eyes. I, I, I stare, I make eye contact directly at their eyes. And it's amazing. I was trying to do that while I was wearing hijab, and so many people, you know, they talk to me like this, or they talk to me kind of like this, or it was just... I don't know. I mean, I didn't get anything bad. Like, I've heard a couple stories. I've heard a couple stories around Wichita, which is where I am. Um, anywho, this has kind of gone on longer, and more than just a thank you. I kind of get to talking sometime. Um, anyway, <laughs> to go back to the reason why I started this video, uh, big, big thank you again to everyone who's left me such positive comments. Um, I'm feeling really good, you know? I'm feeling good about myself for the first time in a long time. And, uh, anyhow, I want to show you something. I got this the other day. I don't know if it's going to be worth the read, but it's uh, teach Yourself Islam. I found it at the bookstore. It was actually on sale. So I was like, I'll get it and I'll see what it's about. It's got some of the customs in it. And, uh, explaining things like alcohol, Islamic views on alcohol and drugs and smoking. And it's got Ramadan and different things in it. So hopefully that'll be a good read. I also bought a version of the Quran, uh, version, a translation, I guess is the better word than version. Uh, I've started reading it. I've read bits before, and um, I've, I've read the Bible too, so a lot of the stories that are in the Bible are in the Quran and vice versa. Um, anyway, so I'm developing. <laughs> I, I feel really good. I think this is the right path for me right now. Um, I do want to, you know, stick it out um, and not officially convert for a while just to make sure that this is the right path for me and that I am doing the right thing. Because I kind of have a tendency to, you know, get on a subject and, you know, be really hyped about that subject for a couple months and then kind of, you know, wean off. But hopefully this sticks. I think it will. Um, the feelings I get from it are just amazing. I've never experienced it. I grew up Baptist. I grew up in the church. I grew up going to Sunday school every single Sunday. Uh, my grandpa's actually a Baptist preacher, uh, and I've never felt this way about Christianity, ever. Um, it was kind of forced down my throat at our church, and uh, that's what led me to become agnostic, basically. And, um... I can't really think of anything else right now. So, um, goodbye. Have a good evening, day, whatever, whenever you watch this. Um, thank you so much.